Okay, here's the deal. At 87, a dream was set into motion. For years, they've been in millions of your living rooms. No couple has traveled the globe to bring you the adventures they do sport. Nah, it's a way of life. North America's favorite hunting couple are the real deal. They live at full draw. Close Encounters is what they do. It's not about glory, hype, or fame. It's about bows and arrows, baby. Draw, anchor, aim, release. Bucks, bears, bulls, birds, tree stands, ground blow. Line, spot and stock. Now that's what we're talking about. Real hunting, real people, real adventure. We are the Archer's Choice. Come on, take your time. Yes! Hey, welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. This week's Archer's Choice, good shot, buddy, is a buffet show. It's a buffet. And what? Can I have a snack? Yeah, you can have one. One snack. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. This week's well, Lucky Logo. This stimulus package. It's the 13th show. It's a Lucky Logo, okay? It's Cabela's. Cabela's. At the Watch end of the show, we'll tell you what to do. They got like a pile of and stuff we've got, for you guys. Yeah, but we've got bears and antelope. High and Plains Outfitters. Big, yeah. Rod, you know, Posse's heading yep. up there. I mean, we've got. So we should just roll because it's a good pack show. It is. It is. Let's just roll with Rod and High Plains Outfitters. Okay. Antelope hunting. Okay? He'll, he'll be right back, right? He should be. We're up here hunting with High Plains Outfitters. Definitely have the antelope. It's uh, it's awesome. I've never been on an antelope hunt before. We got a about a 10 to 15 mile an hour breeze coming out of the looks like the northwest, and uh, it's a little cooler than we would like for antelope hunting. We've been seeing. I mean, there is antelope everywhere. It's awesome. Here we are, Gillette, Wyoming, High Plains Outfitters, and an awesome pronghorn antelope. My first, definitely won't be my last. What a beautiful animal. Great hunt, we've been covered up with these antelope. They've been coming to water. Uh, it, it's been wet and cool, and, and we thought that it might uh, slow down the action, but it hasn't one bit. I mean, it's been uh, hot and heavy, and today I think we saw probably 30 antelope. Yesterday we saw probably 50 antelope. Um, no shortage of action, no shortage of antelope here in Gillette, Wyoming. We're up here with High Plains Outfitters. What a fantastic hunt. Hey, Rod, congratulations. That was a great goat. It almost fits. <laughs> yeah, it's about the same draw length as your son. <laughs> Listen, you know, I got a question though. Yeah. Rod and Russ both went out there I know, with High but Plains. We only got the footage they both that got Russ goats. filmed. What happened to the footage that Rod filmed? Mm. When we come back, mm. we're going to join Tim Donnelly up in Alberta with yep. hunting some black bears. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Oh boy, did you see RJ? No, you told him one. Yeah. Okay. He'll listen. 
Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Yeah, now, now we're going to head with Tim up yes. to Alberta, and he's yes, going to go black bear hunting with, with his, his Hoyt recurve. With his recurve. Yes. Yes. We've been shooting those a lot more. We have. I just haven't gotten very much better with yeah. it, so I'll just keep shooting my compound. You might as well stick to your truck. My truck? Yeah, maybe you can hit something with the head. You. Oh. Beautiful weather for bear hunting, a little overcast and just, just cool, and it's really calm today. Actually, we had a lot of wind and rain yesterday, so this bait's got several sows and, and cubs on it we've seen and we're hoping they'll bring a boar in for us tonight. Maybe tonight will be a good night. We'll find out. We've got a bear at the bait. We're gonna try to stalk in here and see if he'll let us. Time for this week's Bow Hunting World Magazine Tip of the Week. You know, in our backyards, as we're getting ready for the season or the hunt, we all are shooting our shock blockers. But the thing is, is if you're really going on that hunt of a lifetime or just going deer hunting, if you can, get yourself a 3D deer target or a bear target or a hog target, a gator target, an elk, a caribou, you name it. Now, I'm not telling you to go out and bust your bank. However, if all of your buddies are going, everybody pitch in and get that elk target, that caribou, that gator, whatever it may be. The more you practice on the animal that you're going after, the more that shot placement is gonna be perfect. So no matter what it is, think about getting that 3D target to get you ready mentally, physically, the whole nine yards to make that shot perfect. That is your Boning World Tip of the Week. I've just taken my second beautiful bear with Trophy Book Outfitters here in northern Alberta. What a great, great bear. Wow, is that, that something or cool. what? And you know, for Tim to get that with his recurve, that was one of his dreams and he did it. That's it, how cool it was. Like. Now, when we come back, Ooh. we're going to see a beautiful Iowa buck. Iowa. We all hear about Iowa, we all talk about Iowa, we all want to hunt Iowa. <laughs> yeah, wait till you see this one. He didn't choke. Where's RJ anyways? I don't know, I hear something though. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now we're gonna head to Iowa. <sighs> Iowa. You know, everyone talks about Iowa, but when you're there and you experience it. Well, we were with Tales of the Hunt and Aaron. Tales of the Hunt, Aaron, and well, to see one big buck, you know, in a hunting season or two yeah. hunting seasons is worth it. To see two in, in a day, two minutes. In a morning. Two minutes. In a morning. Two minutes. We're hunting in Iowa. It's early November. We're with Tales of the Hunt. It's 
It's miserable out here. We're sitting here, waiting for this last rain to go through. It's raining again. Got that buck. Oh, and the bear now too? <laughs> Leave it to me, I'll get him. It was so close. So close, it's but so yet close. so far. I mean, What's I going on with you on this show? I mean, have a shot. It, they're gonna break. They need to bring me in because I'm I'm the closer. No, you're the loser. Drop the C. Don't go away when we come back. Maybe Ralph can get a bear. You never know. What is this? I if this is from that kid, I told him one. That kid. That kid's RJ. That's your son. I'm not. I'll, I'll, oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, hey, remember that bear that I couldn't oh, get? Yeah. Because you, you you messed it up. He ran away just no, so Vicky, you here, would have the, the opportunity line, at it. Okay? That's what you did. Here's the bottom line. You're sitting there. Oh, wow, look. Oh, there, look at the birds. Oh, oh let me read my book. Oh, there's a bear. Oh, oh he's gone. <laughs> Call the closer. We'll handle it. It was just heading out. We checked out our stealth cam and it showed that big boy is back. The one Vicky saw, but he never gave her a shot. He stayed on the backside of the bait and just walked off. He's actually back and he's hitting the bait pretty hard. The thing is, is he's coming from the backside, coming right underneath. So we've got to keep an eye. We had to get settled fast. And we'll see what happens.
we shot that bear at five o'clock. You know what a lot of people say, boy, how do you guys always get into bears? I'm telling you, we batter them just like we do our deer or anything else. We know the food source. It's obvious the food source. We look at the trails coming in and out. We put our stealth cams out and they tell us when these bears are coming and when they're, you know, and when they're not. A lot of things depend on when, you know, the weather and everything else, but the reality of it is those cameras are a very valuable tool. Now, lo and behold, we're sitting here. We even, we weren't even in the stand for 30 minutes, right? And boom, we see him. He's right here. Vicky gets all set up. I get set up. He goes, he lays down, he gets up. And we knew, though, that this bear's not hanging around a lot because the camera's showing us that. So right when he started to turn, broadside gave me the shot. I snuck it right in there. Here's a good sign. Look at You could see the blood. You could see him. See where he went? See how he tore up the moss right here? There's a good bear right there. Once again, we're hunting with Trophy Book Outfitters, and this spring has definitely been different for us. It's been tough. Like we said, we patterned this bear. He was coming into the bait site. We, we got pictures of him on our stealth cam. We got video of him on our stealth cam. Vicky saw the bear, and it just worked out that I shot Vicky's bear. Thank you, honey. Congratulations, you shot my bear. It wasn't your bear, it was my bear. It, it was my bear up at Trophy Book Boy, Outfitters was, with Dan Hungle, you and Tim. If I was with Tales of the Hunt, I yeah. probably would have shot that buck too. Yeah, and I suppose you're gonna say if you were at High Plain, you would have shot that one there too. I'd have shot those antelope, absolutely. Whatever, hey, we wanna thank you. And if you happen to see Cabell's, which was the lucky logo, you need Stimulus to log on. package. Log on to archerschoice.com, click on the lucky logo button, all some information someone's going to win a pile of stuff from pile Cabela's. pile of stuff yes. from Cabela's. Absolutely. You know, most of all, we want to thank all of you because without you watching the show, without our partners, without the big guy upstairs, Archer's Choice would not be possible. And we no. thank you for so many years of your support. Yes, in 2010, it will be our 10th season. 10 years. And we got a whole bunch of surprises planned for you. That Lots of surprises. I mean, we don't want to ruin it. No, we don't want to no. ruin it. So we want to thank you, and we will see you next season. Same time. Same channel. Right here on, on the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice. How much sugar did you eat? Hold this. <laughs> I'm making sure they're gonna stay around for next until next season.